Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria del Martin. As you know, I started this course about sustainable development with all the things that I learned at university because I consider that sharing knowledge is one of the best ways to achieve a better world for us. So if you have a question, please leave a comment in the below part and I will be happy to have a conversation with you. And if you want to know more about me, you can check my Instagram, my LinkedIn or my website. So let's get started. Today we're going to talk about institutionalization. But what's an institution? An institution are social patterns based in the rules constructed by society to have an structure of social interactions. And how are instructions born? Well, I have just one word for the answer, which is inequalities. And we have three types of inequalities that generates the origin of institutions. The first one is the inequality in impacts of environmental problems. It's not the same to be here in Peru than in Japan because we know that Japan has many earthquakes. So it's not the same. We have many differences in the environmental problems, many differences around the world. The next inequality is the inequality on policy effects in different social categories. And the third one and the final inequality that generates the origin of the institutions are inequalities between human and nature. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, an institution is a social pattern. But how does the social pattern of behavior work? Well, for this, we have the issue attention cycle. The first stage of the issue attention cycle is the pre problem when just a little group of people know about the problem. Then we have the public problem, when anyone can know about what's happening. Then we have an institutional response, when institutions know about this problem and have to correct it. The next stage is the declining caring people, when everyone forget what happened with the institution, with the problem. And finally, the fifth stage is a post problem. Maybe a government or another institution make a new policy about this type or this kind of problems. So that's the post problem. Then we have behavior approximations. I'm going to leave in the below part some links to access to papers to know more about these approximations. But in this video, I'm going to explain you just one, which is the attitude behavior approach. And I'm going to explain you with an image. First of all, we have a behavior that maybe is go to the cinema with my boyfriend in pandemic. But before that, I have an intention. My intention is that I want to go to the cinema in pandemic. Before this intention, I have an attitude. That is, I believe that I'm not going to have COVID-19. Then I have a subjective norm which is maybe that today is Valentine's Day. So many people posting social media, many photos with his boyfriend, going to the cinema or going outside or whatever. So I have this subjective norm like social pressure. And then we have perceived behavioral control that could be establishing mental, physical and rational. Maybe a mental behavioral is that I feel good, a physical behavior is I'm strong and healthy, and rational is that I have enough money to buy my ticket to go to the cinema. So the most important thing here is that institutions are social patterns, and the origin of the institutions are inequalities, and we have three types of inequalities that generates the origin of institutions. And then we have models to determine the social patterns of behavior, like pre-problem, public problem, institutional response, declining care in people, and finally the post-problem. And also we have behavioral approximations. So I hope you found this video interesting. And if you think this video can help another person, please share it. So see you in the next video and bye.